Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send and receive faxes. First, I'm going to show you what it looks like to receive a fax. As you can see on the left side is your inbox and you can see I have all my messages here and then I actually have a folder for faxes and you can see they both say one and that's because I have one unread fax. The unread fax notion is this little blue dot. Then you can also see that this blue, this gray icon here is a fax machine and that's showing you that this is a new fax and this is the fax number it came from. So if I was on this message, I would have to click into this message to view it. And this is coming from a number that I have not programmed in Spruce. It tells you the date that it was uh, sent from the number. And you can see this is the cover letter that they wrote. And then this is the PDF attachment that they faxed to you. So if you wanna view it, you would just click on it. It would open in a new tab and you could download this PDF and do what you want with it. When you receive a fax, you can also, if you want to reference that this fax is about a certain patient, you can actually go to the right side and if the, it's not open, you would just hit this info and then you can say that this fax is regarding someone. So it's regarding this fax number that was just en that sent us the fax. And now let's enter a contact or a patient. So let's say it's about Sasha. So there she is. And now we know that this fax is about Sasha. And if I were to click on Sasha, their contact information, either click on it here or go to the contacts. It pulls up their information and I can see this is a patient and I can pull up all their conversations. And it looks like we have a few, this is uh, a phone call and then I have this fax. So it's all organized here right under Sasha for you for next time. So that's what it looks like to receive a fax. Um, now I wanna show you what it looks like to send a fax. So to send a fax, there's a couple options. First option, I'm just gonna go into this blue action button. I'm going to click this and select fax. When you select fax, you have the option to either put in a phone number or contact. I'm just going to put in this phone number. I just typed it out. And then I go down here to message. And again, this is your cover sheet. So you can say anything you want there. Hi. If I could type, uh, hi, this is the referral. So I can say that and then I would attach the item by hitting attach, and then I would just ch pick whatever um, document I would like, and then it can attach. And you can also um, drag and drop a, a file from your computer as well, it's up to you. Then I would just hit send, and it's going to send this. So I wanna show you why that's being sent. Um, I wanna show you now if you wanted to save this contact, which is a fax number to someone. You could go in here and that, when you click on here, it, it shows you their kind of contact card. So I could add to existing contact or I could create a new contact, which is what I wanna do here. So I create this new contact and this is a professional and I could say this is lab company, let's just say some random lab company and it shows that their fax number is right here and I hit save. And it shows me the facts that I just sent because I just saved that number. So as you can see, now this is saved as lab company. If I wanted to make this fax about Sasha, let's say, as I used in the other example, I could do that for regarding, and now it'll be under lab company and Sasha. So another, another method of sending a fax to someone is hitting the action button, clicking fax, and then now you can just type in lab company and it will just show up. And then you can send a new fax to this lab company. Alternatively, you can also do this instead of from your inbox with this action button, you can go into your contacts and I can find lab company and I have action buttons underneath this contact and I can look at all my faxes from them and other conversations or I can click what I wanna do. Since I only have their fax number entered, I only have the option to do a fax or a note. So I would just click fax and it would open up a new compose to do a new fax. Again, um, I also am checking here back to the inbox because I wanted to show you what it looks like to have the fax actually delivered. So Spruce, will notify you fax with attachment and it says the fax name and the number it was sent to and 
it says that it was delivered successfully. So that's a nice little thing to note. Then let's say I'm done with this interaction with this fax and this fax com um, this company. I would go up here to archive, this icon here, and I would archive that. So it's out of my inbox. And if I didn't need to see it again, I could go to my archive folder over here and see that that's where that's just sitting. That's how to um, send and receive faxes. Also, if you don't have a fax number yet, you can go into your settings and you can go down here to fax and that's where you can copy it, your fax or if you don't have one, you can click this button, create spruce fax number and that will be available if you don't have a fax yet. If you have any other questions, please let us know. Um, enjoy your spruce fax.